Deer Meat Tuesday. That's what we're calling it. As long as we got deer meat. And on Tuesdays I'm off, so I'll make deer meat. So I got steak sauce. Chipotle pepper sauce. You gotta love this stuff. It's awesome. I put on everything I got. Got some old butter there. So I'm gonna put up in here. And the Worcestershire sauce. This was a new bottle. About a quarter bottle. So, what we got here? Got some oregano. Gonna bear with me. I got spices slung all over the kitchen. Throw a little bit of that up in that mix. Some parsley, freeze dried. Some little, little. There we go. I love the garlics. They good? No garlic, no problem. And the pepper. The pepper junkie. Well, oh, there we go. Gotta have that because I'm salty. Love the salt. Alright. Usually I break down my roast, but this is one big hunk of deer. So we're just going to gently place him up in there. So we're going to put that in here. It is 550, uh, yeah, 557. So we'll let that cook probably about 10 or 11. And then we'll add our purple, petite purple potatoes. I got some jalapenos we'll add. I got some onions. Mixed vegetables. And I realized I messed up because this is cream style corn, which I forgot the buttermilk for the cornbread because we're going to add some cornbread to that too. It's fall time, it's winter time. Fried green tomatoes. I've seen those that we haven't had those in a while. Just use straight up yellow cornmeal, roll those in, fry those later. So when I get to the chopping stage, I'll get back with you. Alright guys, we've been just cooking for about six hours so far. So now Second die before left that bud. Beautiful. It's a pretty good sized piece I said to you, so we're trying to slap. I just take the knife and literally just shred this. It's so easy to shred and tender. It's good juicy. Make sure you guys have all that cut out. There you go. Just look how tender and juicy it is. It's quite a bit of meat, too, actually. You see, just pick it up and just, just come straight apart. So. To the vegetables, guys. It's time to put our canned vegetables in. We got the peas, mixed vegetables. Veg, uh, back home, I always bought cans of veg, y'all, but up here at Morgantown, 
It's fun to mix vegetables most of the time. Same thing. The different style green beans. So, let's chop some veggies up over here. Alright, with our potatoes. Don't really do a bunch of anything with them. Just, just take them out and slice them up. Last slides up. We take them over here. Alrighty. So the thing I do with my jalapenos is chop, chop, slice them in half. This was fairly big, so we might take and split it one more time. everything in here. Look how beautiful boy. Looks scrumptious. Got plenty of meat to vegetable ratio. That's what I love. I want a, vegetable, a good chunk of vegetables and a good chunk of meat in every single bite that I take. So we should have it with this. Alright guys, our brooks is almost done over here. So we're gonna fry some green tomatoes. It's one of my favorite favorite things to fry. Good old country staple. Put a little garlic in here. A little pepper. A little salt. A lot more salt while I'm planting on there, it'll be okay. And all I do with my tomatoes is just slice them. Just take a little water on your fingers. Just sprinkle over it. Release it into the grease. Here's a good old fat chunk. Sometimes I double dip. But I'm not doing this today. Just throw them. Throw the yellow cornmeal over it. and then hopefully by the time we get done with all that our roast will be good to go. Okay guys we got our green tomatoes done here. Get a close up of these sexy gold morsels here. Oop, oop. Got a casualty. Paper towels. I'll burn on the house. 
There's our roast, got our deer, purple potatoes, with carrots, beans, corn, peas. Pretty good stuff. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what else you'd like for us to cook. So we're trying to fix whatever. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll get back to you on the next one.